Hi, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. So there's 93 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam, and today we're going to focus on adding fractions. So we're going to look at adding fractions, subtracting fractions, and we're also going to be looking at mixed numbers as well. So you're looking at how we would add and subtract to mixed numbers as well. So in this video, I'm going to go through those 12 questions for you. I'm going to go through some examples, give you some to try yourself. So make sure you press pause and you try those questions. And hopefully I'm going to help you be really confident with adding and subtracting fractions. So let's get started. So today I'm going to be looking at adding fractions and subtracting fractions and also mixed numbers as well. So to begin with, I'm going to go through a couple of examples. Feel free to pause this video and to try the questions yourself if you want to, if you feel confident with adding fractions. Alternatively, feel free to watch me do them. Then I've got a couple for you to try yourself. We'll look at subtracting fractions and then I've got a wordy question for us to look at at the end. So we've got work out two fifths plus one third. So when we're adding fractions with different denominators, it's very important to get fractions, equivalent fractions with the same denominator. So because the denominators are five and three, we're going to find the lowest common multiple of 5 and 3, which is 15. Now, you could use any common multiple. You could use 30 and so on, but I'm going to use 15. So I'm going to find two equivalent fractions with 15 on the denominator. So 15 and 15. So to get from 5 to 15, we multiply by 3. So we're going to multiply the 2 by 3, and 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So 2 fifths is equivalent to 6 fifteenths. Now we've got 1 third. Well, to get from 3 to 15, we multiply by 5. So we need to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. 1 times 5 is 5. So then we have 6 fifteenths plus 5 fifteenths, and 6 fifteenths plus 5 fifteenths is 11 fifteenths. So if we add it together, 2 fifths and 1 third, the answer would be 11 fifteenths, and that's it. Okay, now let's have a look at adding mixed numbers. So here we've got work out one and a half plus two and five eighths. And again, if you feel confident with adding fractions, feel free to give these a shot now yourself. But remember, I've got some questions for you to try in a minute anyway. So if we wanted to work this out, one and a half plus two and five eighths. So the first thing I would do is if I was doing this question is I would make both of these mixed numbers top heavy fractions. So if I had one and a half, well, that's one, which is two halves, and then another half, which would be three halves altogether. If we had a whole and we cut it into halves, there'd be two halves there, and then another half would be three halves or a quick way to do it is to do one times two which is two plus one is equal to three so it's three halves so i do one times two which is two plus one is three so it's three halves and then we've got plus now we're going to make our two and five eighths into a top heavy fraction as well and again we could consider it as if you got two holes and you cut it into eighths that would be 16 eighths and then another five eighths would be 21 eighths so that's 21 eighths. Alternatively, you could do 2 times 8 is equal to 16, plus 5 is equal to 21, so that's 21 eighths. So if we make these mixed numbers top heavy fractions, we get 3 halves and 21 eighths. Now we're going to add these just like we've done before. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the same denominator, a common denominator, where the lowest common multiple of 2 and 8 is actually 8, because 2, 4, 6, 8, and 8. So we're going to use 8 and 8. Now this one's quite nice, it's already 8, so that's going to be 21 eighths. In terms of the 3 halves, well, to get from 2 to 8, we multiply by 4, so we need to multiply the numerator by 4 as well, and 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So 12 eighths is equivalent to 3 halves. So we've now got 12 eighths plus 21 eighths, so altogether, adding the numerators would be equal to 33 eighths. And that's it. Now that's a top every fraction. Because the question gave us mixed numbers to begin with, I would usually change this back into a mixed number. So remember the line in the fraction means divided by. So we see how many eights go into 33. Well, 4 eights is 32, so it's going to be 4, that's 32. We'd have one more left over, so the answer would be 4 and an eighth. So 1 and a half plus 2 and 5 eighths would be 4 and an eighth, and that's it. So whenever you're adding fractions together with different denominators, we need to make sure they've got a common denominator, and then we just add the fractions together. And if they're mixed numbers, you might want to make them top heavy to begin with and then work it out and that's it okay now here's a couple of questions for you to try yourself so we've got work out three quarters plus one sixth and work out five and seven tenths plus three quarters so feel free to pause the video now and to give those questions a try Okay, so if we were to work out 3 quarters plus 1 6, we want to get a common denominator. So we want to get a common denominator. Well, because the denominators are 4 and 6, I'm going to find the lowest common multiple of 4 and 6. So 4, 8, 12, 6, 12. So I'm going to use 12 and 12. Remember, you could use over denominators. You could use 24 and so on. But it just means at the end, you might have to cancel down. So to get from 4 to 12, we multiply by 3. So we need to multiply the numerator by 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And to get from 6 to 12, we double it. So we double the numerator would be 2. So we've got 9 twelfths plus 2 twelfths, and that's equal to 11 twelfths. And that's it. So hopefully you got that whenever you tried it yourself. 
Okay, our next question is to work out five and seven tenths plus three quarters. So I'm going to make this mixed number top heavy. So five times ten is equal to fifty, plus seven is fifty-seven, so that's fifty-seven tenths. So if we had five and seven tenths, that's equal to fifty-seven tenths, and that makes sense because if you've got five holes, that's going to be fifty tenths, and another seven will be fifty-seven tenths. And then we've got plus three quarters. And now we want to add these together. We need a common denominator. So 10 and 4. Well, I'm thinking 20 because 10, 20 and 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So I'm going to use 20 and 20. You could have used 40 and so on. But and just remember, you might have some extra cancelling down at the end. So to get from 10 to 20, we double it. So we need to double the numerator here. So double 57 will be 114. And to get from 4 to 20, we multiply by 5. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So that's given us 114 20 ifs plus 15 20 ifs. Now we just need to add these together. So 114 20 ifs plus 15 20 ifs would be 129 20 ifs. And that's it. Now that's the top every fraction. Because in the question we have mixed numbers, I would convert this into a mixed number at the end. So we see how many 20s go into 129. Because remember, the line means divided by. So that would be equal to 6. 6 20s is equal to 120. So 6. We'd have 9 left over. So the answer would be 6 and 9 twentieths. And that's it. So hopefully you got that right as well. Okay, so we've looked at adding fractions. Now let's have a look at subtracting fractions. So we've got work out 6 11 subtract a half and work out 2 and a third subtract 3 quarters. Now in terms of subtracting fractions, the first step is the same, getting equivalent fractions with the same denominator. And instead of adding the numerators, you just take away the numerators. So feel free at this point to pause the video and to try these subtracting fractions yourself, just getting equivalent fractions with the same denominator and then subtracting the numerator rather than adding them. Okay, so if I was to work out 6, 11, subtract a half, the first thing I would do is get a common denominator. So we've got 11 and 2, so I'm thinking 22. So 22 and then subtract and something over 22. To get from 11 to 22, we double it. So let's double the numerator. That's going to be 12. And to get from 2 to 22, we multiply by 11. So 1 times 11 is 11. So we've got 12 20 seconds, subtract 11 20 seconds. So that's going to be equal to 1 20 second. So that's 1 over 22. And that's it. So 6 11 subtract a half would be 1 over 22. And that's it. So hopefully you got that right. And the main difference is just we subtract the numerators. We've done 12 take away 11 rather than add them whenever you add in fractions. There's not much of a difference really apart from 1 you add and 1 you subtract them. Okay, so the next question is to work out 2 and a third subtract 3 quarters. So again, we would make this the top every fraction. So 2 and a third. Well, 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 1 equal to 7 so that'll be 7 thirds and remember if we're dealing with thirds in two holes that'll be 6 thirds and another one will be 7 thirds and then we'll get subtract 3 quarters now in terms of these fractions we want to get a common denominator so I'm thinking 12 and 12 and a subtract sign in the middle to get from 3 to 12 we multiply by 4 so let's multiply the numerator by 4 so that'll be 28 and to get from 4 to 12 we multiply by 3 so let's multiply the numerator by 3 so that'll be 9 so we've got 28 twelfths take away 9 twelfths well 28 take away 9 is equal to 19 so that'll be 19 twelfths and again that's the top every fraction so let's then change that into a mixed number how many twelves go into 19 one remainder seven so that'd be one and seven twelfths and that's it so if we were to work out two and a third subtract three quarters the answer would be one and seven twelfths and again the main difference is just we're subtracting the numerators rather than adding them and that's it now let's have a look at a wordy question okay now here's something for you to try yourself so we've so we're told that Estelle is training for a race and she runs three and four fifth miles during week one and she runs five and two thirds miles during week two. How far has Estelle run in total over the two weeks? So what we want to do is we want to work out the total distance that she's run over the two weeks. So we know how far she's run in week one. We know how far she's run in week two. So if we add these together, that'll give us the total distance she's run over the two weeks. So let's do that. So we're going to do three and four fifths plus five and two thirds. And if we add these together, that'll give us the total distance that she's run. So let's make them top every fraction to begin with so three and four fifths so three times five is equal to 15 plus four is 19 so that's 19 fifths and again if we're dealing with fifths in three holes that's going to be 15 and another four will be 19 fifths plus and then we've got five and two thirds well five times three is equal to 15 plus two is equal to 17 so that's 17 thirds and again checking that in five holes if we're dealing with thirds that's 15 thirds plus another two would be 17 thirds so we're getting there now we want to find equivalent fractions with the same denominator so because we're dealing with fifths and thirds i'm thinking 15 and 15 on the denominator because 5 10 15 and 3 6 9 12 15 again you could have chosen 30 and so on but it just means you might have a bit of extra cancelling down at the end and then we've got a plus sign to get from 5 to 15 we multiply by 3 so we need to do 19 times 3 so let's do that up here 
here. So 19 multiplied by 3, let's see what we get. 3 times 9 is equal to 27, so put our 7 down, carry a 2. 3 times 1 is equal to 3, plus 2 is 5, so that's 57. So it's going to be 57 fifteenths. Now in terms of our next fraction, to get from 3 to 15, we multiply by 5, so we need to multiply 17 by 5. So we're going to do 17 multiplied by 5. So 5 times 7 is equal to 35, put a 5 down, carry a 3. 5 times 1 is equal to 5, plus 3 is equal to 8. So it's going to be 85 fifteenths. So we've now got two fractions with the same denominator. Now we can just add them together. So we need to do 57 fifteenths plus 85 fifteenths. So let's do that. And again, let's go up here. So 57 plus 85 and see what we get. So 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Put our 2 down, carry our 1. 5 plus 8 is equal to 13 plus 1 is 14. So it's going to be 142 fifteenths. So let's change this into a mixed number. So remember that the line of the fraction means divided by, so we want to see how many fifteens go into 142. Now actually, if you notice, 10 times 15 would be 150. To get 9 fifteens, that'll be 135. So 9 times 15 would be 135. You could list your multiples of 15 and go 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, and 130, and 135. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Six, seven, eight, nine, and do it that way if you wish. So it's going to be 9. So that's 135. We had a 142, so the remainder is 7. So it's going to be 9 and 7 fifteenths. So how far did Estelle run over the two weeks? The answer would be 9 and 7 fifteenths miles. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to add and subtract fractions. I hope you found it useful. Also remember, adding and subtracting fractions, there can be questions in context. So if you try the practice questions below, they'll be quite useful as well, just to get you familiar with the different types of context that you might need to add and subtract fractions in. If you've got the Code Maps revision cards, the add and subtract and fractions revision card might be useful as well. And that's it. So in this video, we're focused on add and subtract and fractions. There's 93 days to go, obviously 92 tomorrow. So three o'clock tomorrow on YouTube, there'll be the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.